What's going on everybody, this is Elmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to convert an application that is created with AR Foundation in Unity and then convert it over to Lightship ARDK. It's really exciting because not only you can use meshing, which is what I'm using in this application with iOS and LiDAR, but you can now use it with Android, which is one of the cool features with ARDK is that it provides you with more flexibility when it comes to cross-platform experiences. So I'm gonna walk you through what kind of things we need to do in the Unity editor, such as what components we need to remove, what components do we need to add from ARDK. And then by the end of the video, you can get an idea of what is required and what is some of the power of ARDK as it comes to cross-platform development. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start by showing you how this scene works in Unity by using Lightship ARDK. You can see that I'm basically doing a ray cast and I'm placing the retycle all around. And it's basically finding the mesh and then you know I can place the car as soon as I, I find a location. So if I wanted to test it, I can test it. If I wanna zoom out, I can zoom out. And basically I can test just like if I was running this in reality, in augmented reality. And I can also go back in here into the scene view and look at you know different areas that we may have box. So, this is one of the powers of using Lightship ARDK is because we can test everything right within the Unity editor. So what if I wanted to change the mesh, right? If I wanted to go in and, and try because maybe we want to support these experiences in different environments, so we can just change the mesh there and I can just test it, go back down and, and maybe mesh, meshing is off and meshing is on. So I can go, you know, go ahead and test everything just like if I was to run that in in reality. So, so that's the power of using Lightship ARDK. I also wanna show you how this runs in the iOS. So this is running on my iPhone 13 Pro. So if I were to hit play here, meshing is running just fine with the iPhone 13. Obviously this is a very powerful device. It has a lighter and we can, you know, disable meshing, enable meshing. I can try my car, basically accelerate, move it around and everything works. So you can see that everything looks just like it did when we did the version of my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan a little bit more until I get a better, probably get closer to the floor until we get a, a flat surface. And I'm gonna place the car there. I'm gonna basically, you know, try the experience and, and you know, everything works just like it, what it did work when I did with iOS. If you go into the Air Foundation scene, you're gonna see and, and hit play, you're gonna see that there's really no way for us to be able to test this other than deploying to a device and basically testing some of these buttons. But there's really nothing that we can see. If I go into the scene view, there's really nothing that we can see. There's nothing that we can test. So it makes it really difficult for us to, to test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we can take that from Air Foundation and then go into ARDK. I also included a standalone scene, like if you wanna hit play, basically allows you to test the car physics. If I wanted to move the car around and then test that in here we can you can also use some of these bonds to to test with that go ahead and get back to air foundation and a couple of components in here that you might be familiar with is air session air session origin these ones are very specific to air foundation so we're gonna i'm gonna assume that we're going to well i'm not gonna assume we're actually gonna be removing those so i'm also gonna be cloning this air foundation scene and we're gonna go ahead and call this one ardk because it's gonna be the one that we use for ardk and then once you have that, the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into assets. I'm gonna be creating a new folder. And this folder is gonna be called third party. So these two packages you're gonna get from the ARDK website. So I'll include that in the description of this video, but go ahead and double click each of them. And we're gonna go ahead and import them into Unity. Okay, so it looks like everything imported correctly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move those two different folders and let's go ahead and put them under a third party. I like to keep things organized, so we'll keep that in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and move my game manager and player mission manager. We're gonna go ahead and move them out because we're gonna be removing these two different components. If you look at the AR camera, everything in here is for specifically for the AR foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And then we're gonna end up with the AR mesh manager, which we're also going to be deleting because this is AR foundation specific. Okay, so once you have that, now we can go into the actual components for ARDK, go into extensions, and we're gonna be looking also at prefabs. And then the one that we're gonna need is gonna be the AR scene manager. So go ahead and drag and drag 
drop that into your scene. We can put it in the very bottom. And then you're gonna see that we have the AR scene manager and also the AR scene camera. On the AR scene camera, we're gonna be adding a new component called the AR depth manager. And this is gonna allow us to basically capture depth so that we can do meshing. I'm gonna go ahead and disable occlusion. Get back to the AR scene manager. And we're gonna be adding an Android component, which is the permission requested so we can run these on Android. And let's go ahead and add the camera as one of the permissions that we're gonna need. The next thing that we need to do is we also need to add what's called content awareness. So if you go into the ARDK and we can get back into the extensions. Okay, there we go. It's under meshing and then drag and drop AR mesh. This one I like to call it AR mesh manager because that's basically what the script is called. And you're gonna see a couple of properties in here. If you didn't watch the previous video, make sure you watch it. But the target frame rate, I ended up doing 10. And then I'm also going to be changing this mesh prefab because I want to have a collider. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop that one here. And if you double click on it, you're gonna see this is basically just a mesh filter without a mesh. It has a mesh render, mesh collider, and basically a pretty nice material. And then we also need to be able to test this right on the editor. So right now there won't be anything that shows if we were to run it like that. But if we wanted to add a new component, we can add a new component here. And we can call this one the, we can say mock mesh I think that's how I call it before and then we can add a component that is going to be called mock mesh and then it's going to take a path and if we go into the third party folder and that's why I downloaded the examples is because I wanted to have some of those examples available and this one is context awareness this is the one that I was looking for before and then meshing and then mock meshes and I'm going to be adding I think we can add either four I think four is the one that is a, a bigger area and then go ahead and copy path and then paste it in here and then I'm going to change this to we can do 0.5 on the discovery of the mug mesh. Without much changes, we got everything, you know, everything working. I can also zoom out, zoom back in, and I can place another object perhaps in here. And I'm basically panning around with my mouse to be able to place all the different objects. And if I wanted to reload, and let's see if the meshing works. This doesn't work because of a change that we need to make to the code. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is, yeah, this is changing this material, but it's not doing anything. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change this implementation and it's gonna be serialized field. I'm gonna do private AR mesh mesh manager and then control period to bring in the namespace from Niantic ARDK. And then I'll just call this one the AR mesh manager. And then what I need to do here is I don't need to do any of this and we also don't need the material. And this is gonna be a lot easier now because they provide a new method which is called set user invisible material. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna be passing the mesh visibility on and off. And this is basically the same implementation that I had. All I had to do is just basically just call that. We're just gonna have to add a reference to the AR Mesh Manager. So let's go ahead and get back into Unity. Now, if you go back into the Game Manager, it's gonna be taking an AR Mesh Manager and that's gonna be the one that we just added here. So we can just drag it and drop it and then we can hit save, hit play. But now we can change the visibility on and off if we wanted to. Visibility on, visibility off. I can go back and forward and uh, it's all working just fine. So another thing that you're also going to need to do if you want to build this to the device is let's go ahead and go into package manager. And this is some things that you may need to think about because the if you're using AR Foundation and you already have the AR Core plugin in your list of packages that you're using, you want to make sure that you remove these components because the ARDK it basically includes those. So I'm going to leave them in this project. The only one that I, I found as a conflict is AR Core XR plugin because ARDK itself is including the AR core. So if you leave this one and ARDK also have the other one, it's going to have a conflict and you won't be able to build. The AR Kit XR plugin worked fine. For some reason, it didn't have any conflict. So you can just go ahead and remove that component and then you should be able to deploy to your device. If you want to download the code that I just showed you, you can go ahead and go into AR Racing Game. By the time that you watch this video, I will have the feature like ship basically branch merged into the master branch. So you don't have to basically go into different branches. But as of now, this is the branch that I'm using that on. If you guys have any other questions about this, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.